what's up, Razorback Nation? It's been a long, long time. And please keep in mind that this is a test. I don't know how this looks on YouTube. I don't know how this sounds on YouTube. I'm just trying something out because I've been away from this channel for quite some time. And first off, let's just get, let's just address the elephant in the room. No. <clears throat> The person that is on the cover of this YouTube thumbnail is not me. Blame Chad GPT. <laughs> I asked Chad GPT to create a Razorback fan that is around six foot two and 300 pounds and black. And that's what they gave me. So blame, <laughs> blame Chad GPT, not me. But uh, no, that was a joke. But uh it may have been a bad joke, but whatever. But like I said, this is a test. I don't know if this is on. I don't know what this looks like on YouTube. I don't know what this sounds like on YouTube. But hey, <clears throat> I'm here. So <clears throat> I just wanted to come back because I miss it. I miss being able to speak my opinion. I miss being able to talk Razorback football. I, I just miss a whole lot. I miss you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't recorded in a long time, but I've been doing a lot of collaborations and I've enjoyed it. But it's time for me to get back to what I love to do. I love to talk about Razorback football and I, I, don't, I don't even want to sit here and lie to y'all. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to record every other day. I'm going to record every day. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that. <laughs> I'm going to just record when I feel like it, man. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. Um. <clears throat> But I do want to do something different because when I started this podcast, I started it a few years ago, back in maybe 2016, 20, it may have been around 2018. And I was doing a, a, a not necessarily a YouTube channel, but I was literally just doing audio recordings as a podcast. But then I started doing YouTube around... 2021 maybe and that was around the time that sam Pittman had just got here at arkansas and i told y'all then i was gonna be consistent blah 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 whoop de woo but life happens man i have a super busy schedule and i really can't commit to recording every single day um but i can't commit to recording now, how often those recordings are, I don't know, but I can commit to recording. So I'm going to take this time to say this is going to be something completely different and something completely out of the box from what you normally see from Razorback fans. And especially from what I used to do, because a lot of what I used to do was long format. I used to sit down, talk about stats, talk about this, talk about that. But I want to move this channel into a different direction. I want to be able to add, to give you live reactions. Uh, there is so much Razorback content out right now that the the market may be saturated at this point. But I mean, when I like I said, when I first started this podcast, there weren't hardly anybody. Uh, there weren't hardly any real Razorback content creators except for a few people. And, they're, and they have big names. Of course, you got your Trey Biddies, your John Neighbors, and all those guys. But I'm talking about the little guys like me, the fans. But now you have my bros over at the Woo Pig Podcast doing amazing things. And I'm super proud of those guys, man. And you got uh, Tuss Talk with Ty. You got all those long format shows. And... I don't want to keep you for a long time. I just want to keep you for a good time. So what I'm going to start doing is reaction videos, reaction videos to interviews, reaction videos to practice. And what we're going to do today is take a look at some practice film. I've n I haven't watched this video yet. So my reaction to it is going to be from from ba based on everything that i see moving forward this is going to be a live reaction to the razorback spring practice that happened today i don't know what time it happened i don't know but i want to give my live reaction to what i see on film and 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 just just go from there and this show it, it, this what you see right now is not going to be what it's going to be in the future so 
I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, I just want to get back to recording and uh, and go from there, man. But I do need to go ahead and move forward and let everybody know that this is fair use. So the first video that I ever did on YouTube was copyrighted. So I'm going to put this up because this is a reaction. I'm going to put this up and I'm going to read it. So let's get to it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. And this is going to roll after every single intro that I do moving forward, because what I'm doing, I have not yet seen in the Razorback podcasting community. I hadn't seen it yet. So I haven't. I, yeah, we, we have people doing conversations and podcasts in long format but i just want to do something different that i haven't seen in the razorback podcasting community and that's let's do some reactions man let's do some live reactions to what we see on tape and this is courtesy of natty state sports um the the logo is clearly here so just know this is fair use i'm not trying to steal it it's on youtube you guys can go watch it. You guys can go follow them, do whatever. But this is just my live reaction to what they posted on YouTube. So let's get into it, y'all. First off, we see Bobby Petrino back there. Mm, that was a nice cut. Who is number 17? Number 17 is CJ Brown. And number one at receiver is... Jaden Wilson against Snacks. All right, let me run that back. Let me run that back. That was a nice route by Jaden Wilson, though. I like that, but he's got to catch that ball. Snacks has good size. I like his size. I like Jaden Wilson's size, too. Ooh. Ooh. That was a nice jab step, but that was better defense on the on the part of Snacks. I mean, he stayed, he stuck with him. Now this is a nice matchup right here. I think that's J number eleven is Jalen Braxton. Yup, Jalen Braxton, and of course we got Andrew Armstrong at number two. Mm, that's great defense. I'm not necessarily a fan of that route he just ran though. Andrew, I'm not a fan of that that Andrew Armstrong route. It's almost like that that release off the line was slow. And Jalen Braxton just sat on that ball, man. Mm. That's good defense though. I'll tell you what, that was two of our that was one of our that was our best wide receiver versus maybe our best cover DB. So, I mean, that could be accurate. Ooh, who is that? Who is number 87? Who is number 87? That was a nice route. Cameron Bibby, I don't even know who that is. Mm. That was a nice route. Cameron Bibby, that was a nice route. He's a red shirt sophomore, six foot two out of El Dorado, Arkansas. I like that. I like that. Ooh. Ooh, that's a defensive hold. That's a pass interference. That's getting called in the game. Who is number 34? Jabray Shaw. He's a red shirt freshman. I'll get that to him. I'll give it to him. Ooh, I like that, though, Andrew Armstrong. That's a way to come back. I like that. Okay. We got our guy, Tesla. Ooh, slow off the line, though. But I tell you what, he got held. He would have caught that ball possibly if he hadn't got held. 
Look at Bobby Petrino back here. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to pause it right here because one thing that I see out of the out of our wide receivers room is height. It looks like we got a lot of nice height, especially compared to one of our better DBs. Snacks Snacks had a great season last year, but just looking at where he is compared to all of our receivers, I feel like he has really good height. I mean, I feel like our wide receiver room has really good height. So, I mean, that could be a positive moving forward this season. I don't know where they shape up against the rest of the SEC, but – that could possibly be a benefit for us, especially in the Bible Petrino offense. Who is this? That must be a linebacker. That's got to be a linebacker. Ooh. Ooh. Had him on skates. Let me run that back. Oh, yeah, he had him on skates. That's barbecue chicken right there all day. I don't even know who that was. Who was that? Number five versus number 85. Who was number five? Tyrone Broden, red shirt freshman. Six foot, I mean, red shirt senior, six foot seven, 198. Number 16 is our guy, uh, Isaiah Satania. I mean, the receivers look good. I, from what what I just from what I just saw from Broden, that was a really good route. That was a really good route. Who is number eighty five? Whoever he is, he had him on skates, but I like that from Broden. Mm. That was a nice route. I mean, especially if they have Satania in the slot. He'll have a whole lot of those slants and in and routes. Mm, I like that. I like that. That's that, that's a good route by Tesla. I mean, I feel like we don't we weren't able to see his full potential last season because the offense was so terrible. So right here we got number 83. Dasmond James, white fre uh, red shirt freshman, burnt him. That was just a terrible throw because he had him beat. I'm not sure if these are D um, well these are DBs. They gotta be DBs just because of the stances. I mean our DBs look decent. They don't look terrible. <laughs> I feel like I don't feel like they'll be the weakest link on the team. I mean, depending on what the offensive line looks like. Ooh, that was nice. That was a nice rush move. Who was number twenty two? Brad Spence. Run that back, Brad Spence. Let me see that again. Let me make sure I saw what I saw. Yeah, that was a nice dip. That shoulder dip. That was nice. Now, based on everything that happened in 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 the off season with the departure of so many of our linebackers, I really do feel like the linebackers are probably going to be the weakest link on this team. 
aside from the offensive line. Let me take that back. Let me let me backtrack. Because I mean, I feel like we got some good young players at linebacker. They're just inexperienced. They just don't have the experience. But I will say that I think that the middle of our that's a defensive hole. What are you doing out here? That's a PI, bro. But I mean, I will say it's it's practice, so Tesla's got to fight through that. Oh, that was a nice route. That was easy money. That was easy money. Let me watch that route again by Tesla, man. Make sure. That was easy money, though. Let's see, Tesla. I mean, you, you're strong off the line, man. You got held. I'll give you that. But it's practice, man. You got to... You got to break through that and practice, bro. Mm. Jaden Wilson, that was easy money. Versus number eight, Jaden Johnson. Mm, that was good defense. I mean, what are y'all's overall thoughts? As far as the team, what are your expectations this season? Because we we obviously know we're going to have a – you got to catch that. Jalen Braxton. No, not Jalen Braxton, but that was uh, Jordan Anthony at receiver. This is what we came to see right here. Taylor Green and Malachi Singleton. I'm a huge Malachi Singleton fan, just so y'all know. I think that his upside is tremendous. Mm. Nice, 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 nice. I want Tesla to have a great season, man. I really do. I believe in him. I like I like the structure of these these routes that that Bobby Petrino has him running. You got a nice shallow out route. Then you got a deep route, mid route. Mm. Okay. My, I'm not concerned about the offense. I'll just say that. I'm not too. I, I'm not too concerned about the offense at all. Now, on the other hand, if the offensive line is as atrocious as they were last year, it's gonna be a long season. Sam Pittman may as well just pack his bags up. And 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 go ahead and, and tell Bobby Petrino to move on up. The receivers don't look bad. I, I've never felt like we had a lack of talent. It's always been coaching. Always been coaching. Hmm. And Sam Pittman is right where he needs to be with that offensive line. Man, number 78 is huge. Who is that? He must be a walk-on because they don't even have him listed on the roster. Whoever he is, he's big. Number 65, number 66, number 58. They look small. I'm not even going to lie to you. They look very small. Those three guys look super small. I'm assuming that that's second team. I mean. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. This is the this is the biggest question mark on the team for me. What is this offensive line going to be? I mean. 
based on what I've seen and based on what everybody else says, Sam Pittman spent a lot of time with the offensive line. So I would expect this to be Brett Bielema era offensive line play, if I'm being quite honest. I mean, we don't have Denver Kirkland out there. We don't have um, Dan Skipper out there. But, I mean, Sam Pittman recruited these guys. He went out and handpicked this offensive line coach, Mateos. Then they say Carmona is a beast. But how much of a beast can he be? How much of an impact can he have on the left side of that offensive line? I don't know if they got him, they got him playing left tackle or right tackle. Who is number zero? Because that boy is carrying tree trunks for legs. Who is that? Braylon Russell. That's a that's that freshman running back we got out of Benton. He's big. I mean, I think we all knew Taylor Green was going to be the starter or in the running to be the starter. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think anybody's surprised by that. Um, I think the biggest surprise is Malachi Singleton being the legitimate second string QB. I mean, it's not a surprise to me, but it may be a lot of it may be a big surprise to everybody else. But for me, it's not a big surprise at all. And make sure y'all go follow Natty State Sports because I don't want them to copyright me uh, for reacting to this video. But it's on YouTube. Y'all can go watch it, too. But I just wanted to give my live reaction because this is my first time seeing the footage. And I am I just want to start to try to put something different out there, man, because, I mean, we got a lot of Razorback content now, man. Now it's time to diversify. Some people like reaction videos. I'm giving a live reaction video. I watch a lot of reaction videos personally. And I really don't have time to sit down and plan out a show, edit the video. I just don't have time for it. I just want to do something quick, something meaningful, something that we all can enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Look at Bobby P. Look at Sam Pittman. This is going to be an interesting dynamic. I mean, if they can coexist, man, this could be a marriage made in heaven. Because we all know Sam Pittman is a player's coach. Bobby Petrino is, <laughs> is not. If he's going to put the best player on the field... That was a nice route. I'm not sure about that release with the whole drag foot, with the foot drag. I'm not sure about that, but, I mean, it was a nice route. He's holding. They got to they gotta check that right now. They got to check that in practice. I don't care if it's spring practice because what's going to happen is he's going to take a bad habit like that in the fall camp. And if he takes it in the fall camp, he's going to take it into a game. But, like, you can't hold him off the line like that. That's good feet. Well, I mean, one thing can be said. Our linebackers, whoever they are, have good feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got good feet. Uh, good move. Good move, arms. Ooh, nice catch. Okay. Oh, 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 are they are they practicing the one hand catch? Nah, some of them just want to be fancy. I see you. Just make sure you catch it in the game. All that fancy ish. Ugh. Good move. Good move. Mm. OK. All right. Wide receivers. Uh. Nice swim move. That'll get you off the line. <clears throat> That's good defense. That's good defense. That's snacks too, I think. I think this is going to be my favorite defensive player. 
Jalen Braxton. I like his energy. And, ooh, he got burnt right there, though. That's barbecue chicken. He got burnt right there. Run that back. Ooh, Andrew Armstrong got off right there. He's also playing off, too, so he's at a disadvantage. He's in man, but he's like five yards off the ball. Matter of fact, that's like that's like eight yards off, off the line of scrimmage. So Andrew Armstrong had a head of steam, but he got right behind him with no problems. Yeah. Tackle drills. Yeah. Who is that? Number seven. Rashad DeBinion. Uh, Rashad DeBinion took a step back last year, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know if it was coaching. I don't know if it was the offensive line. But Rashad DeBinion as a freshman was dynamic. He could get off. I mean, he could catch the ball out of the backfield. He could hit the, he, he could hit the ball. Oh, that is a huge running back. Man, I had to. Let me pause it, man, because I got to finish this thought on Rashad DeBinion. And then I want to get back to that. That juggernaut of a running back. But Rashad DeBinion to me took a step back last year. I mean, like I said, I don't know if it was the offensive line. I don't know if it was co I don't know what it was. But Rashad DeBinion as a freshman was dynamic. He could catch the ball out of the backfield. He could hit the hole running downhill. And he was elusive. I mean, I think he did get hurt last year, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, when he did get the ball, it's like he was dancing too much. I mean, and maybe that's because the offensive line was terrible. I'm not trying to say that he's that bad of a running back. But I'm just saying, I'm just hoping that the Arkansas offensive line can put together a respectable season, man. Because we have talent. We have receivers. We have running backs. Like, Arkansas has never had an issue with getting a running back. We Historically, Arkansas has had running backs, so that's never going to be a problem. The problem is, are we going to have an offensive line to step up and open up holes? That's the question. Now, let's talk about Braylon Russell. Just looking at him right there, he kind of reminds me that uh, he kind of looks like Raleigh Williams. I don't know if y'all remember Raleigh. He looks taller than Raleigh Williams, but his build, his lower body looks a lot like Raleigh Williams. That's a big dude. How big is he? 6'1", 252 as a running back? That's a load. I wouldn't want to hit him. I'll tell you that. That's a load. As a freshman, I'm sure they'll probably get him down to maybe 240. 240 will probably be his playing weight next season. See, you got to do better than that, Broden. You were lazy. You were lazy coming off the ball then you want to try to catch the ball with one hand behind you turn your body and catch the ball you see what i'm saying turn your body and catch the ball bro like you good but you ain't that good bro you see what andrew armstrong did this is what separates andrew armstrong from everybody else in my opinion watch him get off the line watch his feet 
Watch how tight he is around these cones, and then watch how he turns his body to catch the ball. Look at how tight he is around the cones. Then he turned his body to catch the ball. Now, now watch Andrew Broden. Sloppy. That was a decent cut, but you ain't even turn your body to catch the ball. That was a nice route by uh, Jaden Wilson. That's good feet by uh, Tesla, too. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Nice little, nice little jet sweep action, or or uh, what do they call it? Nice little pop pass. I'm not convinced that we got old Bobby Petrino back until his entire face is the color of this bag. <laughs> like, that's how you know when you got Bobby Petrino back, when his face is the entire color of this bag and these helmet uh, pads. I mean, for the most part, I mean, it's spring practice. I know I'm being kind of <sighs> kind of critical, but I mean, sh we got to be critical, man. Like, as a Razorback fan, bro, we deserve better. We deserve much better. Like, yeah, it's spring practice, but the things that they're doing right now in spring are also going to be indicative of what they do in the fall because right now they're taking all of those let me go back all of those um all of those habits that they have right now are going to carry over into fall practice and they're also going to carry over into the season like i know i'm being kind of critical but i mean as a razorback fan who knows what good razorback football is I know what to expect to see in practice. Like the the stuff that I saw that separated Andrew Armstrong from Andrew Broden. Uh, what is it? Uh, I don't want to mispronounce his name, but Broden. The thing that separated Broden from Armstrong in that route running was exactly why he is the number one receiver. We saw exactly why Andrew Armstrong is the number one receiver. And we also see possibly why. Broden didn't see the field a whole lot last year. Like with the with Andrew Armstrong was tight around the cones. He turned his body to catch the ball with both hands. Broden was lazy off the uh, off the uh, off the ball, and then he didn't even want to turn his body to catch the ball, and he was lazy around the cones. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, I mean, I'm happy that I'm I'm able to actually come back and do something because I've missed it so much. I I miss being able to come on here and talk my crap about Razorback football and 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 say what I got to say. But just just know that I can't promise you that I'm gonna record every day. I can't promise you that I'm gonna record every other day. Just know that I'm gonna record. And I'm trying to do it in a way that's easy for me that I can just jump on, click record, and go from there. But I just wanted to come on here, not for a long time, but for a good time. I hope y'all guys enjoyed it. This is my first time coming back in a while. But just know that the format of this show is going to be reactions, reaction videos. I don't want to do a whole lot of, well, I mean, if there are, I don't know what this show is going to evolve into. But right now, this is a reaction. This is a reaction show. I'm going to react to interviews. I'm going to react to Razorback games. I'm going to rea react to Razorbacks. Whatever it is about the Razorbacks, I'm going to react to it. If you want live reactions, live emotions, live feelings, you're going to get it right here on the Hogwild podcast. And like I said, this is Hogwild Reactions with your boy SEC Mo. And uh, man, it's been 35 minutes. So I'll see y'all later. I'm out. <laughs>